and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. In this video, I'm going to be uh, delving into Lightbringer. So Lightbringer is a game that's in open alpha at the moment. Uh, it runs on the Litecoin blockchain, um, although this is currently an alpha version, so it's running on a testnet, the uh, Litecoin testnet. Um, it's obviously PC, um, PC client game. You have to download the client and sync it to the uh, testnet in this case. And it's a kind of RPG, um, so very um, kind of obvious RPG kind of leveling, kind of grind, uh, kind of gameplay elements compared to any other RPG. Um, I've created three characters, so one of each character class. But in this video, I'm going to go a bit more into the uh, marketplace, which is built into the, to the game. Very quickly to show you the game, however. So this is a character. This is... Um, uh, rogue and I can uh, click around this map and see um, various things I can do so um, I could go and attack the orc camp um, and it will take me 13 blocks so obviously blockchain game you have to wait for blocks to do things so 23 minutes 30 seconds so I'm just going to send her on a quest it's going to cost me a little bit of um, uh, currency so this is like M Litecoin on a test net so it's not real money uh, but you can see now she's preparing to go off on the quest and when she's finished it she will have um, gain some XP. Um, in the meantime, let's go and have a look at this. So this is the uh, sorcerer character. Um, we look at some of the stats now, so we, we can see um, some, some weapon stuff and actually quite a lot of different stats. Got two times speed. Um, look at her power, her level. She needs to get some more XP to go to level 12. Um, various things I don't fully understand at the moment. It can level up her magic bolt if I collect certain things. Um, so a whole bunch of this stuff, if you want to get into the game. Um, I'm sure at some point I'll get into it. Um, but also, because she's gone out on these quests and we, she's collected all this stuff now in her inventory. So this is her, what she's actually geared up with at the moment. Um, and the different items, different rarities. Um, also have different um, uh, 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 kind of uh, element kind of things attached to them. So obviously, if you're going to attack certain types of enemy, you want to have different sorts of gear. Um, the whole kind of rock, rock, paper, scissors thing that we have. Um, but we can see here there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can level up. So um, this Crest of Disarming, um, I can level it up because um, I need to have... I've collected enough of these resources so I can level it up. Um, so if I'm using those up, can't level it up anymore. Um, uh, so I can't level up anything else um, using that resource because I've leveled it all, used it all up. This one I can level it up and we can see the stats are going up. Now run out. Okay, so that, there's that idea. I've got all this other stuff that I don't really need at the moment. So. Um, we could go and have a look at that. Um, we could go and, uh, up here. If it wants to work. Which it doesn't. Uh, maybe because of that. Okay. So this is the depot. We can see all these items I've got um, in any um, RPG. If I want to dismantle them, I can go in. It's a bit finicky at the moment. It doesn't, doesn't seem to be a way of... Uh, grouping stuff, um, but I can just, with stuff I don't need, I can just go and dismantle that. Again, it's a, it's a blockchain uh, transaction, so these 11 items will be dismantled and I'll get these resources, so those are the resources you saw me using to level up the items I had equipped. Um, so off we go, that's going to um, take time to do. Now this is the uh, marketplace, so obviously one of the big points of blockchain games is you actually own the items you have in the game and because you own them you can go off and sell them. Um, at the moment this probably uh, is a bit too kind of complex I mean but if you have lots of different filters here you can do um, and uh, it doesn't show anything when you just log into it but you can click on here to search um, and you can just see some of the items um, that are available at different prices so um, these are all different uh, Kind of cat, you know, players who are who are selling these things on. So I could actually go and um, kind of filter. I could look for some holy elements, and I could look for a holy weapon and go and filter for that. Um, and actually, I've got these. Uh, these are kind of full sets that someone's put together. So I can pay twenty-two um, micro Litecoin and buy this kind of full set, um, which is kind of all three, or well, not all of it, but you know, it's kind of fairly high. Kind of set. So you can kind of see how these people, people in the game, um, might might go out and kind of build these sets and sell them because obviously it's kind of quicker. Um, also, you can have a look at characters, so you can sell your entire character. Um, so these are characters who are not leveled up, um, but you start off with three 
um, basic kind of character classes, and then each has a kind of three sub kind of specialized character classes. So this one here is the um, this is the female pirate. So you have to have level have leveled up your character, your basic character, to a certain level to kind of be able to get one of these um, kind of. Uh, Specialized ones. What's this one? This is the pa uh, paladin. So this is the kind of evolved fighter. Um, so we can see uh, for each character class, there's male and female versions. So this is what's called the warrior version. Um, so you know, um, see how that works. Also resources. So these are the um, things that you're using to level up. So you can go and buy those things if you want to. See if this works. So uh, I'm going to purchase that. It's going to cost me um, one micro Litecoin and all these um, trading fees. Obviously, that take a block to come through. And obviously, if I want to do things, I can go and sell things. So I can create a sell offer. I could sell a character if I wanted to. Um, obviously, mine are mine are nothing. <laughs> very very uh, impressive. So I don't think anyone buy them. Um, but I could go and uh, maybe sell some equipment. I don't think I've got anything very interesting. But I could go and maybe sell that. Um, and I could put that at, I don't know, no one's going to buy that for that, but I could go and sell that, uh, oh, no elements, what's going on there, um, oh, because I didn't drag it onto there, so there we go, one piece of equipment, put it up for sale, I'll receive one, and the buyer will pay one, with a small 5% fee, so I can go and do that, um, preparing for sale, um, so there we go, it's kind of, you know, as a, as a, as a game experience, I guess most people will go, well, this, this is not particularly exciting, um, in terms of the gameplay, um, it's, it's not particularly uh, exciting. But what's interesting is obviously it's very new technologies to build something on, on, on the Litecoin blockchain. And the whole point is, um, while there have been examples in the past of um, kind of kind of community-led economies, um, with a blockchain game, that kind of comes as standard. So um, the fact that you own everything in the game, and if I, for whatever reason, had decided I'd played like bring it enough and I wanted to get rid of all my characters and all my everything I had in the game I could just go and stick it all on the marketplace and sell it all off um, I think further down the line it, it, you then have some problems <laughs> in terms of how you build these economies because if, if you have players suddenly start dumping their stuff into the economy then the price of everything goes down so it's very hard to work out um, how you ca actually kind of create stable pricing models that's a, a big economic kind of issue but we're not <laughs> not at that level yet because um, this game isn't even live um, so I do think it's, it is pretty fascinating um, how how uh, we're starting to see kind of, I think an emergence of a new type of uh, kind of gaming, uh, certainly a new type of kind of game uh, kind of business model, um, and uh, yeah, like Bring It is definitely one of the better examples I've seen of, of, of someone kind of doing this in a really well self-contained, well presented kind of model. So um, you can go and download Lightbringer, um, the alpha, the open alpha version. Just go to the Lightbringer.com uh, website. I'll put the link uh, below. Uh, but you can go and play the game, download it, um, and uh, kind of you have to do a set up a blockchain wallet, which you, if you haven't done that before can be a little bit um, uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, make sure you write everything down and keep it safe. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a good run a test net, so you're not going to lose anything. Um, I, I suppose that's the advantage. So definitely worth checking out. If you are interested more generally in blockchain games, um, please do subscribe to the channel. So Blockchain Gaming World is all about blockchain games. Spend a lot of time playing a lot of games and thinking about kind of how they work and the problems around that. Um, so if you're interested in that technique degree, please do subscribe. But uh, thanks for watching this video and hope to see you again soon.